Hi, I'm Chris with Carnival Cruise Addicts, and this is episode 89 of Yakety Yak, straight from the Axe Mouth. John Heald, Carnival Cruise Line's brand ambassador, posts on his Facebook page where you can ask him questions. You can also compliment the crew and complain. We go to the questions, we read the questions, he answers the questions, and we take the cool, the funny, the weird, and we put them here for you. So on today's episode, we're talking about faster to the fun. What is John's favorite ship? We're stuck at sea! Were birds really falling out of the sky? And excursions and thunderstorms. Alright, question one. Is Faster to the Fun back to early access the cabins? So if you purchase Faster to the Fun, can you get to your cabin earlier, like, say, a sweet guest or something? John said, no. Unfortunately, it's not. But you can drop your bags and your luggage, carry-ons, in the room, and then leave right away. Get out of Dodge. People, they are still making up your room. So please do not hang out in there. Don't go in there and uh, use the restroom, if you will, because, well, they got to get back in there. Um, if you want your room made up, just drop off your stuff. Get out of there. If you have faster to the fun, you most certainly can. Question two. What is John's favorite ship and destination? John say, said he can't say a favorite ship. It's like saying you have a favorite kid. He loves them all, and I honestly believe he does. Uh, as for destinations, he did say some of his favorites are Jamaica, Aruba, Half Moon Key, Naples, not Florida, that's where we live, Italy, uh, Draw Dubrovnik, I think, Croatia, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, which I likely am, uh, sorry, Cleveland, Ohio, of course, and Alaska. So, yeah, he can't pick a ship, but he's got quite a few ports, and he always said on uh, previous ones that he's very fond of Jamaica. He loves it. Speaking of love, if you love what you see and you love cruising content, please like and subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. All right, question three. If you were stuck at sea for an additional day or two because of a storm, which happened a lot this hurricane season, um, do they count those days towards your sea days? On the opposite side, if you had to get back to port early because a storm is coming and there's no way they can get around it safely without leaving you out there for an extended period of time, does it count against you? That's a great question. John said, as a gesture of goodwill, Carnival will never decrease the number of cruise days earned as a result of a shortened sailing. That said, if you have to have an extended sail by a day or two, they will absolutely give you credit for those days. So if you're on a four day and end up being six days, you're a little bit closer to that next level. I think that's pretty damn cool myself. All right, question four. This cruiser said, maybe they are dumb or naive, but were birds really falling out of the sky and onto cruise ships? I did see this a lot, not just on his page, in the news in general. And John said, yes, it does happen during hurricanes. The birds, most birds aren't seabirds. They can't just sit down like a duck and float around. So they have to fly through the winds. During that, they get thoroughly exhausted. So they will see a ship and it looks like land to them and it's somewhere to land. So yes, they will. And if they're exhausted when they get to that port or that point, unfortunately, yes, they will absolutely fall down. But the birds that are surviving, um, if they can, if they need to take them in, they have specially trained crew on board to take care of them. And hopefully when the winds die down, they can release them. But it, it does happen. It's a thing of nature, unfortunately. Uh, last question. If you have a dolphin excursion booked and they're having thunderstorms, does it get refunded or do you just miss it doing, uh, due to the rain? Sorry. Uh, he said, the team on board will advise on this. In our experience, uh, you can get a refund on the shore excursion. 
if it's heavily impacted by weather. So we've canceled some because it was drizzling um, and we just didn't want to go into the rain. And yeah, you're going to pay, I think it's a 25% restock fee. But one port we were in, we had thunderstorms. I mean, on the boat, lightning, thunder. It's a good song. Lightning and thunder. Never mind. Uh, but they, we absolutely went down there and said, hey, we do not want to get off in this weather. Uh, can we cancel the excursion? Fully expecting the 25% cancellation fee. And they absolutely waived it. So if it's dangerous, they will absolutely work with you. If it's drizzling and you don't want to get wet like we did, that's on you. You're out 25%. What are you going to do? At least you didn't get wet. That was episode 89 of Yakety Yak straight from the Yak's mouth. Thanks for watching. Please take care.